Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be something different. It's going to be a recipe test. This is a part one of probably like two or three recipes I'm trying to do to see if I could get like the perfect Jamaican beef patty. This is something if you grew up in Jamaica or you have Jamaican background, some kind of Caribbean hair, um, background, you know this is a staple, okay? But I know everybody can make patty. I had to do drastic measures to try and make my own because my patty shop I did sell off before. Not now going for it far in a tall. I don't know if the people have moved, but the, mm -mm, the, not now going with the patty. Disgusting. So, I am trying to see if I could develop my own recipe so when me want patty, I don't have to drive all the way to Brooklyn, okay, where they have a decent type of patty. I'm trying to make this as close as it to juicy beef or tasty beef in Jamaica. So stay tuned as I go on this journey. There's a lot of things that will tweak again into this recipe. But we're going to try another recipe for part two and then in the end I'll decide what it's going to be. So stay tuned as we get into this recipe. So first we're going to do the meat filling, something that's kind of simple. You just want it to have the meat not to dry out when you, it's in the oven. So it's important that you have like kind of a wet consistency, wet and thick consistency, but not too wet. You'll see as we go on. So in the pot, I have scallion, I have thyme, I have scotch bonnet, pepper, because you need the spice. Um, I'm gonna saute this and then I'm gonna add my beef to it. If you don't wanna do beef, you could use chicken. Um, after I do this, and if I, when I get it, I'm gonna say if, when I get it to, what I want as far as the recipe, then I'm gonna start you working on some vegan type of patty recipe for people that want to eat the chickpeas, want vegetarian, and don't want to do anything anything like with meat products. Stay tuned for that. That's gonna be later on down. So this is my beef. This is organic grass-fed beef. I got this in Aldi. If you can find any kind of beef you want, use is up to you, right? But so. I put this beef in here and then I'm gonna saute it and stay tuned and just see how I do this. Side note, my people. Me always wonder when they said grass-fed beef. So what what would I feed the cow them with before that? In Jamaica, that's all they feed them. You just see the cow them a grass on the grass. So when I'm talking about grass-fed beef, you know me have to say I'd every other beef and I just shop them. What, what's going on in America? What's really good? Anyway, let's get back to the recipe. This is where I'm adding some all-purpose seasoning. Um, whatever season that you have, season it to what your taste is supposed to taste like for you. So I did all-purpose seasoning, look at the salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Those are the things I added to me. I added a little browning because I want my meat to be like a little darker. So this is what I did for me. Um, so as I said, there's plenty of recipes on YouTube of how to season your beef or whatever. But as I'm saying, this is my recipe that I'm trying to do to get it close to what I like it for me, for my taste, okay? So um, I did end up adding a little bit more brown into it because I didn't like, I wanted the color to be a little bit darker. So I don't want nobody choking on no time. You know, so I'm gonna have to take out the piece of time then. Cause me don't want nobody choke on no party. This is not that type of situation right here. So this is what I did. I took it out and now I'm putting in my bread and water mix. You're supposed to put breadcrumbs in there, but I didn't have. So I soaked my bread in some water, blended up a little bit in my Vitamix. And then I put it, cause this is gonna make it nice and thick. And as I said, you want some kind of watery consistency, but not too watery. 
you'll see as I go along. Cause you don't want it dry out in the oven. Cause that will not be beef patty, okay? So bear with me, as I said, as you see the mixture, it's thickening up. And this is the type of consistency that you're looking for. I'm gonna make it cook down a little bit more to get a little bit thicker. And then, and as I said, you do not want this to dry out, all right? So this is, as I said, recipe one, part one. The next time I do this, I'll do the beef the same way. I'm just gonna change some stuff for the crust, okay? So now I'm adding in my flour. What I have in this flour mixture is turmeric and not a powder. I'm not gonna give the recipe like I usually do because as I said, this is like the test. So I don't want you to give it any kind of recipe until I've perfected it. I'm adding to the flour mixture. This is rendered beef fat. That's that you can find it on Amazon. It's called tallow. And then I'm also adding like the butter shortening to the mixture. I put it in the freezer so it is very cold when I add it to the flour mixture. Usually they use beef suet, but that's the next time when I do the next recipe, that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna change some technique like I did to this dough. So first I started off with a dough hook to try to get all the mixture together, like a crumb-like texture. But I had to switch to the paddle attachment because that dough hook was not working for me for at this time. You're gonna see that I'm gonna change it back to the dough hook for when I'm trying to get the dough to come together. Right, so we're gonna mix this until it comes to like a, like a bread-like, breadcrumbs-like texture. You'll see. This is the texture that I'm looking for. And uh, the color, as I said, the next time when I do this, I'm gonna tweak some things. I'll tell you at the end what I will do differently. I switch back to the dough hook attachment and I'm adding ice cold water. It's important to work with really cold ingredients when you're doing any kind of pastry because it's going to give you the flakiness of what you need. So this is now I'm adding my, my water and now I don't let it over mix. I'm going to take it out, let it bring together, bring it together with my hand for the rest of it, put in a cling wrap and put it in the refrigerator. So this dough was in the refrigerator for like four hours. So I took it out, flow on my work surface, I'm gonna roll it out, and then the rendered beef, the beef tallow, that was in the freezer along with the butter flavored shortening, I am gonna sprinkle on this dough, fold it, roll it, and then put it back in the freezer, and take it out and do the same technique again. This is something that they use when they do kind of, when they do in croissants, stuff like that to get layered, but Men are no pastry chef, okay? This is just my little technique that I'm trying to use. The next time when I do it, I probably don't do this technique and I'm gonna see if it makes a difference. But I did this three times and I put it in the refrigerator overnight and then I made my patty the next day. So as I said, you need to have time to do this. This needs care and attention. I don't know, hurry, hurry up something. So please, make sure you got time to do this and nobody else needs your attention. Cause this party gonna need your attention, right? So make sure you have a lot of times your hand when your hands when you're doing this. I would suggest it is a day where it's snowing outside and it's on a weekend and you're not going anywhere. This is something that I would suggest that you do. Or if it's really cold outside on a weekend and you're not going nowhere. So as I said, it's the process. It is the process. Don't hurry it because it's not gonna come out like you want it to.
So this was the last time I put it back in. And this is the last time that I took it out to roll it and do the technique that I was doing in the previous two times. And I'm cutting it to show you the layers that I'm looking for. And I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator overnight and the next day I'm gonna make my patties and I'm gonna also roll it and fold it again. So this is the next day, I flour my surface. The cutter that I have that I use wasn't the sharpest, but this is a dress rehearsal. This ain't like the final, final recipe. When I give the final, final recipe on here, I'ma come, come correct with equipment, all right? Just bear with me. So as you see, I'm folding it again and I'm gonna roll it again, and then I'm gonna cut it out, put the filling in, and put it in the oven. I had different bake times that I did and different temperature to get what I want. As I said in the end, I'm gonna explain to you what I didn't like and what I liked, and the next time, some things that I would definitely change. It was a little bit too thick for me, so I found myself rolling it out again before I put uh, filling in there. So, as I said, this is just a trial by error as I go along. The next time I do this, I'll do something different. The big, tem big temperature and the big time varied when I was trying to get the perfect temperature and big time for the patty. Still didn't get it yet, but I think I'm close. And I will not share that right here. Um, when I do the next recipe, if I'm successful, then I will share everything. The bake time, the recipe, everything that I did. So as I said, just go on this journey with me. As I, This tastes good, I'm going to tell you this. It tastes really good. The flakiness that I'm going for. But I need to change like a couple things to get it exactly to what I need it to be. I did different bake times, different temperature time. When I baked it at a higher temperature, it was too hard for me, but still flaky. It was still flaky. When I baked it at a lower temperature, it wasn't as flaky as I like. So I have to get the bake time and the bake temperature right. However, this was like kind of in the middle when I baked it, so it came out good. It's still flaky. No matter what, it was a flaky dough. However, I, the bake time and the temperature temperature time, I have to get it right. And I want to roll it a little thinner next time because I don't want it as thick. But as I said, this is the first part of the recipe. I think I am on my way because it is a flaky, flaky dough. And that is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm going to decide when I do the second recipe if I'm going to marry the recipes. I take away what I don't like, add what I like to get the perfect consistency for my patties so thanks for watching to the end please keep safe rona is still out here in these streets mask up double mask up until the next video please keep safe